down the gangplank. First cautious steps into Europe. Under warm blankets, their eyes soak in first impressions of the land they hope will bring a better life. Help for some to hobble to a waiting ambulance. That young man is blind. Tonight, rescuers saved 33 lives, including five women and a child. It's now just after midnight, and those refugees and migrants who have just reached dry land had clearly been many hours at sea. Uh, they will now be taken away to a holding area where police will register them, and they will receive attention from the Red Cross. In a fenced corner of the port, Red Cross workers start health checks. Police begin the paperwork and checks to confirm where in Africa they're from. For now, there's no access for media. Morning, back at Dockside, we meet Captain Frank Perez of the Marine Rescue Service, who commanded the previous day's mission. They were in a rubber dinghy about six metres long and a 15-horsepower engine. There were 33 of them. They were frightened because they didn't know they were going to make it, but this time they were lucky. One of his crew recorded tense moments of the rescue on a helmet-mounted camera. This was 100 kilometers off the coast of southern Spain. Firm commands for the refugees to stay still so they don't capsize. They're scared. The first group is shuttled to the main rescue boat. Some are sobbing. A handshake, both a thank you and a welcome. One of the rescuers calls out that one of the incoming passengers is blind. The reason I do this job is for the satisfaction of saving human lives. Once they were on board, they feel totally safe and begin to shout and cheer. This weekend, European Union leaders will wrangle over immigration policy and border controls. But here, there is no politics. The only aim is saving those in peril on the sea. Carl Penhall, Al Jazeera, Almeria, Spain.